today, your patients, I'm sure, as many others, have more access to information than ever before. Um, they must be coming and visiting you and asking you questions about things that they see online. What, what's your What's your position on uh, on uh, the patient when it comes to uh, their own self education and what what they bring to you? Is that is this a helpful thing for a doctor like yourself, or is it ultimately uh, more harmful? Well, uh, I've always believed, actually, since I was a kid, when my mother taught me this. There's no such thing as a bad question. There's only bad answers. So I, I love it when I get questions, and I hopefully try and answer them as best as I can. I don't have every answer. But the p most important thing for my patients to do is to be able to differentiate between what's real and what's snake oil. And I think that's the most important job I have in terms of answering their questions about these things that they hear on, on the Internet. The problem with a lot of the information is it's not necessarily credible, it's not cited, there's no research or you know, there's no real information to back it. So a lot of people will just say, oh, it must be true because it's on the internet. Well, unfortunately, that's just not the case. And often I have to re-educate my patients and explain to them, well, this is why it's not true.